3,000 Santa Cruz County voters will be the ones to determine the fate of the Pajaro Regional Flood Management Plan. Those residents and businesses along the floodplain are being asked to support a measure that will help in maintenance of that river levee. Action News 8 reporter Phil Gomez is live with a look at those who are already behind it. Phil. Well, on this Friday, those 3,000 uh, Watsonville and Pajaro area voters will be receiving a mail-in ballot asking for a simple yes or no response to this $1.2 million project. Now at the local level, individuals are going to have to step up and play their part to uh, contribute to something that's going to be so needed. The Pajaro Regional Flood Management Project, with its $400 million from state and federal governments, could take a major dive without the approval of $1.2 million in annual maintenance measures. They have to say yes on this, and that's the most important part. Otherwise, the money will go away. This Friday, 3,000 ballots will be mailed out to residents living in the flood zone in the Watsonville area. It includes property owners and ag businesses. The $1.2 million assessment averages out to about $192 or $16 a month. I mean, for a $400 million investment that we can protect a billion dollars of people's assets and their livelihoods, it's, it's a no-brainer. Believe it or not, floods can be prevented. Tornadoes can't be. Hurricanes can't be, but this can be prevented and we need to do that. There have been major floods destroying homes in ag fields. The most devastating one was in 1995, causing almost $100 million in damages. Rebuilding levees will be complicated too. It's very complicated because it, it involves uh, utilities, it involves relocation of, of, of those utilities, it involves raising uh, um, some of the intersections, some of the, the, the bridges that are there also need to be raised. And there is another benefit. If this measure passes, residents would no longer be required to purchase flood insurance. Getting rid of flood insurance is a matter of building the project and recertifying the levees. Um, the passage of the O&M assessment allows us to put this $67 million in future federal funding and state funding to use to build the project. If the vote is approved, then if the project is approved, it could begin construction in 2025 and could take anywhere from 8 to 10 years to complete. In Watsonville, Phil Gomez, KSBW Action News 8.